the odds of you needing to use uh, or using your, your baby's uh, blood cord or... Welcome to the Hypno Baby channel. I'm Dr. Natalie Fizet. I'm a retired family doctor who delivered 3,700 babies. This is your channel, so don't forget to comment, like, share, subscribe, and be amazed. Of course, there's a big medical disclaimer. This channel is for entertainment only. You use it at your own risk. I am, I am a doctor, but I'm not your doctor. Hi, bear with me here. I'm going to try to demonstrate how cord blood banking is done, and it's kind of complicated, and I only have a mock-up, so please be patient with me. So, um, cord blood, you have to contact the cord blood bank. Uh, I'm going to put a link in the description if that interests you. There's fees, of course, if it's a private, um, you, you use your, your own baby's uh, cord blood. You have to know that um, there's a lot of hype. There's a lot of misrepresentation from the companies saying, you know, it's uh, insurance and so forth. The odds of you needing to use uh, or using your, your baby's uh, blood cord or the estimates vary, but uh, from one in 500 to one in 200,000. So they, they compare it to being struck by lightning. But there's research, there's things that are changing. So if, uh, if you're thinking rich, sorry to say, if you're buying $1,000 shoes or handbags and you don't know what to do with your money, yes. If you have to choose between paying rent and doing cord blood, well, I think the choice is pretty obvious. Even if you uh, choose to, if you have the choice between um, paying for college for your kid or uh, doing cord blood, the odds are better if you go with the college fund, but that's a whole other debate. So let me try to demonstrate. First, you're going to have to contact the company and um, get in touch with them. They're going to send you, this is a mock-up. I'm not going to waste a, 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 a box like this and everything's going to be in it. And then uh, they, they have clear instructions. Do not wait until last minute because th there's some steps that you need to follow. Um, they're very clear though and I, I appreciate it. I've done a lot, I've done a lot of um, cord blood um, uh, sampling and taking for for banking for private banking and um, I appreciated that in the cover of the box for a poor old doctor who's delivering a baby at 3 a.m. usually here there's all the instruction with a big number one number two number three and at one point it, it's it's very easy you have to know that we're not hurting baby in any way we're um, the needle goes into the um, the umbilical cord, okay? So we're not touching the baby. It doesn't hurt the baby. There's a the big debate about, uh, you know, letting the cord pulse. Um, I used to um, uh, have my patients and their partner touch the cord in their fingers so they would feel the pulsation. The the uh, recommendation is don't wait too much though because there's it's there's a balance that, that uh, the vessels in the cord closes and it sometimes it, it's short too so there's less blood in it than if you have a long cord so if you wait too much you're gonna have less blood collected in your uh, blood cord and even if you have like a very good uh, not sampling but uh, um, that the doctor takes a, um, and make sure with your doctor that they're um, familiar with taking blood cord. Okay, like I said, I've done it many, many times. So um, even if you have enough, uh, all that publicity that you see, oh, it could save your life, could save uh, the, the family's adults, there's not enough cells to treat an adult, the, the stem cells. But um, right now, I've seen an article um, that was uh, successfully, they, they reproduced, they had it reproduced, the, the stem cells. They added um, um, a component and uh, they multiplied the stem cells. So there's research, but um, you cannot like live in the future either. You make your own decision, I'm just telling you. So getting back to the sample, this is a placenta. It's actually my <laughs> happy face, but let's say it's a placenta. So the baby comes out, it's attached with the cord uh, to the placenta. That's what was nourishing and oxygenating the baby. 
Once the baby's out, it, it takes the first cry, so the lung gets out, uh, the, the water gets out of the lung, and the baby is, um, it is on its own, okay? So it doesn't need, it does not need that, that blood um, from the placenta anymore. The placenta is, is inside the mummy here, okay? So it's, I'll put it away, but you have the cord. So first thing first, before we do any kind of taking blood, we have to cut the cord, okay? We have to clamp it and cut it, okay? To cut the cord, we put a clamp and, and um, we put a clamp next to the baby's umbilical. Uh, that's the plastic one, and the other one is usually the metal one, and the partner uh, cuts, or sometimes the mom. I've had the mom cut the cord, cut it in between, so baby is on the mummy. Uh, so we can wait, uh, but not too much. They say, well, after a minute, and there's, a, I don't want to get into the controversy of letting the, the cord stop pulsating, but if you have the blood cord, you might have to sacrifice, saying we want to uh, wait until the cord stops pulsating. There's also controversy saying, well, if you uh, let all that blood go back into the baby, it might have an overwhelm of um, too much uh, red blood cells and baby might be more prone to jaundice. So there's delicate balance, but the, most um, associations like pediatricians agree 60 seconds. So Here's my part. Baby's born. We've cut the cord. Everybody's happy. You're focusing on your baby. You brought your box. Um, the nurse uh, opened it, and, and she, she's familiar with it. Make sure, like I said, that your doctor in your hospital. So I'm opening. This is a mock-up box. It's not a real box, as you can see. I'm, I'm just showing you. So there's the bag, the um, and there's tubes also because you will need mommy needs blood tests to make sure mommy does not have hiv or other you know things um there's some uh, compresses the nurse opens them and gives them in a sterile way like opening um, and there's um alcohol pad you have to know that the cord is already touching mommy's legs and stuff so we clean it a bit but it's not a hundred percent sterile okay so I'm going to put my, my box away. So it's a pretty box. It's a pretty nice mock-up that I did here. So at the end of the bag here, there's a tubing, but there's a, that's my, that's my knitting needle, but there's a badass big needle that I would never put in my, in my arm okay but that's to collect as much blood as possible and like i said we're not touching the baby we're the cord is here it's it's hanging out from mummy because the placenta is still inside mummy so we have the cord so um in the cord there's one big vein it's really nice it's a big juicy vein and two arteries okay so we uh poke after cleaning it and disinfecting as much as possible, because like I said, it already touched mommy and everything. So we um, we go, uh, we put the needle in the, and the needle is attached. It's like at the end of the tubing of the bag. So forget this, I'm not knitting when, <laughs> when I deliver a baby, I'm just trying to show you. So we poke, let's say this is the big vein here. We poke in it, and then we let the bag hang as low as possible because by gravity it would fill so it, it fills honestly sometimes I have very short I had very short cord I had to almost squeeze the cord trying to pump as much blood as possible and and almost like uh, hoping sometimes even the sample if we do a very good job they might reject it saying there's not enough cells in there there's nothing we can do for it so I hope your company is um, make sure you have a renowned company that's been around for a long time. There's been scams, there's been, um, there's lawsuits, there's a company that lost all the samples for, I don't know, I guess they did not have a generator because that blood has to be frozen and, and kept every year. And they kept billing the people. So there's a lot of horror stories. So if go with a well-established uh, company. You also have to know that these companies often are not regulated by the FDA or all that stuff. So don't don't go with uh, kind of iffy companies, um, blood cord companies. So um, it, it takes about 10 minutes. Uh, after 10 minutes, the, the cord is really like dry and, and, and collapsed. And we get 
Look, the magic, it's like a cooking show. We get a bag full of, that's a really good sample. It's actually, it's actually juice. But then we clamp it here. And um, on the regular bags, you would have like uh, little pouches here. So that way, if they want to take a sample, they don't poke in the bag. They just take those. So you can imagine it's like clamped and then uh, in the tubing. So you have like, let's say there's blood here. There would be blood here and it would be um, clamped. So they, they can like use one at a time and the bag would still be intact. And then uh, you you have a shipping, and that's your part. By now, I'm I'm sorry, I'm I'm scratching my nose. I will clean my hands. Don't worry about it. I'm doing a video, so so um, by then I'm back in bed, and the doctor is back in bed, and you have clear instructions how to call the carrier. They 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 have numbers for carriers that are 24 seven, so that way your blood doesn't stay on the counter and gets uh, wasted. The baby blood cord. You also have to have uh, mummy's um, mummy's blood uh, also sent. And um, we also, if if you take that's a different package. If uh, you take a piece of the cord, we we cut a piece of the cord that goes in the sample as well. It usually comes with the um, a little gel pack to keep it at room temperature and the courier knows like they're experienced in in taking blood sampling then it goes to the the um cord blood bank that you chose and the uh the kind of twisted around really not my uh i, I don't want to in uh you know get too much involved in this i i don't I don't do that but then they freeze it okay and you pay a fee a yearly which is not as bad as the initial fee which is thousands of dollars and they have all kinds of packages lifetime and so forth like I said make sure it's a company that's been around like if it's brand new and they have specials you don't want to you know chance it the odds of you using, like we said, the, the baby's blood. And you have to know that they sell it to you as insurance. Oh, if your baby gets sick, you'll be so glad that you did this. If your baby gets sick with, uh, with, sick with all those 80 metabolic uh, diseases, nobody will, will use these cells because they might have the same uh, genetic uh, code default code and it might um, have the same disease so they would not use it not no pediatrician no um, hemato oncologist or uh, metabolic disease pediatrician would use this so it is good if you have a sibling that's sick and um, I'll talk to you about um, because there's a lot of uh, questions raised so and and there's a lot of research there's they talk about alzheimer even diabetes but that's all in the future but you know we were talking about mars and and now we're talking really about mars so who knows the future like i said if you have money you don't know how to spend it that that could be an option the odds of you using it are very low though you have to know that if you're tight on money that is not the best investment right now as i'm speaking in 2023 it might change over time, okay? So I'm not giving you any advice. Do it, don't do it. Get, do your research and really look at those pamphlets or those ads in magazines and beware. There's a lot of bad publicity. Not bad, but um, I want to say unheth unethical. I'll say unethical publicity. If you love your baby, you're going to do cord blood banking. Uh, it cures uh, AD disease. Uh, you'll be glad you did it. Like we were saying, they cannot use it for your own baby if your baby is sick because sickness could be in the bag. It could be for a sibling, could be for, um, and, and again, for an adult, there's not enough in there. So if they, they find a way to um, reproduce like multiply the cells yes that could be good options I'll talk more in the other videos please comment if, if you use stem cells if you had them uh, frozen if you had a bad experience if uh, you have any comment put your comments below I would love to hear from you so I hope you like my, my mock-up with my uh, <laughs> knitting needles I just wanted to give you a visual of the thing and, and the box is not a, an official box it's just to show you what what you get 
And um, if, if you're considering uh, cord blood, don't wait until um, the eighth month. You might deliver early, you might be very tired, and, and, and it takes, it's, it's a big decision. Um, so make sure you have plenty of time to, the, the instructions are very clear, but the uh, information has a bias. Honestly, it has a bias. They, they want people's money, and they're not telling them the exact statistics, uh, how much uh, you, you would use this. So beware. You know, I'm talking about it. I'm, um, there's a, a, I'll put a link in the description, but, um, you know, beware. I'm, I'm not going to give you, I always give you the right time of day. So I hope you like this. 